Alrighty. Hello, bases. Your king has arrived. Wildband here, and welcome back to Marvel Studios What If. Today's episode is What If Thor Were an Only Child? Now, as you all know from last week's episode, it's been my least favorite so far. I have a weird feeling this episode might be it, just because while I can see why last uh, why Killmonger saving Tony has like some like significance and some like interesting enough story implications, I don't see this one doing that. So I, I don't want to prejudge. I just I have a weird gut feeling, but let's just get into it and find out. I am not a fan of the character models for uh, Darcy and Jane Foster. They don't look very much like Natalie Portman and Kat Dennings. Him? Is that Zachary Levi? I know he took over the role in uh, Thor the Dark World, but I kind of hope that's him. Excuse me? Well, it's happy hour. You want some uh, half-price nachos? Okay, fine, duck. But this is not a date. Let's just see where this evolves. Yeah, that'd be so funny if those two were hooked up. That'd be, I just want to see a, a shot of them waking up in bed. That'd just be so funny. That's even better! Oh my gosh! Nah. I bring it on it. I can't believe you came, Loki. You are the absolute best. You're my brother from another mother, man. I mean that. I mean it. Ah, oh, brothers forever. Brothers forever. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> Slightly funny, but mainly weird. I know that's not Brie Larson. <laughs> She's one of the like four or five uh, actors who didn't return. Are you kidding? You know, there's a Midgardian word for women like me. Archie Pooper. Oh, come on, man. I'm, even in PG-13, you can have a little bit of language. Oh. Okay, I will admit, this fight is kind of cool. I'm, I kind of figured the, the Thor's lightning wouldn't affect her. I'm sorry, I need to, I, I need to stop real, real quick. She stopped fighting? She, she, pooper, that, that stopped you. Captain Marvel. That fight probably could have kept going until one of you like seriously hurt each other. I think my feeling was uh, right. Back into it. Army, you've got a cat. Oh, I've got a crown too. <laughs> and we both like fire, right? <laughs> was that Clancy Brown? I think it is, because he voiced that character in uh Ra and Ragnarok. <laughs> What? What? Okay. So, episode seven, it, it was very much how I felt. I, I had a, like I said in the beginning, I had a gut feeling that this one wasn't going to be a, a good one, and I was kind of right. I, I, like I said earlier, the, if Killmonger saved Tony, that at least had some story implications. Like, oh, what if like he took over Wakanda? What if he killed Black Panther? What if he killed Tony? Like, th there are there are some story implications there that are good. This one didn't need to exist. It didn't do anything. That the ending was cool. Oh shit, the, the, the Vision is Ultron, but yeah, this the, I don't. I feel like the other other stories had like purposes and reasons for existing. Like they had good storytelling. Like this was just like stuff happening. So 
I mean, some funny stuff tonight. Like, the, the coolest part was that fight between Captain Marvel and Thor. That was kind of awesome. Some of the visuals there were really cool, but... Yeah. A lot of Marvel actors came back. Um, again, but that wasn't Brie Larson. I don't know if that was um, Russo's wife or sister. I forget which one it is. Renee Russo. I forget if that was... I can't tell if that was her or not. But, uh... Yeah, I think this now takes a spot as my least favorite episode. Again, cool moments, but this episode was unnecessary. Didn't really need it. Uh, but yeah, that'll do it for this reaction. Thank you all so much for watching. Hit that like button, hit subscribe, help the channel grow. Hit that little notification bell so you know when I do more reactions like this and when I upload my other videos. Your king is departing.